The FBI and U.S. Marshals are involved in the search for affluenza teen Ethan Couch and his mother. Couch became a fugitive after missing a probation check-in for a drunk driving crash that killed four people. The sheriff thinks the mom and son may have left the country, and today we asked him why. Fox 4's Dion Anglin is in our Fort Worth newsroom tonight. Dion, what's the latest in the search? Well, local, state, and federal officials are working uh, together on this. One thing we know is that they are checking uh, international flight manifests as part of their um, diligence in trying to see if they've left the country. But the sheriff told us today that is only helpful if they legally left the country. Tarrant County Sheriff D. Anderson is not mincing words in the search for Ethan Couch and his mother, Tanya. If he'd have been, been locked up and held accountable the first time, none of this would happen. The sheriff says the mother and son who lived in this now vacant Eagle Mountain rental home could have a two-week jump on authorities. We now know Ethan did show up for a meeting with his probation officer roughly 10 days prior to the day he was discovered missing. That gap in time is one reason the sheriff believes mother and son could be out of the country. And I'm not going to be surprised at all to find out that they are. That, that will not shock me one bit that they've left the country because I think that's a distinct possibility at this point. With the FBI and U.S. Marshals now involved in the search, the Sheriff's Department has even tweeted out a tip line hoping for new leads. The owner of the couch's formal rental home is a man who lives in Washington. He tells Fox 4 their arrangement ended at the beginning of August. Sheriff Anderson says the teen, who avoided jail time for a drunk driving crash that killed four people, could have recently sensed his probation was in jeopardy when this video surfaced of young men playing beer pong. The DA's office is investigating whether Couch is one of the participants. They felt like if they stayed, he continued to cooperate, that at some point the other shoe was going to drop and he was going to be arrested anyway. So I think they took the opportunity uh, to, to run before that happened. Now, the sheriff uh, added today that if uh, it, Tanya Couch is assisting her son in uh, avoiding apprehension, it is likely that she too will face charges. It's the latest live here in the Fourth Newsroom. Heather, Clarice, back to you. All right, Dion, thank you.